Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Uh, this is step by step tutorial on how to implement CRUD operations, insert, update, delete and select using entity framework in C Sharp Windows application. Okay, to insert new record, we have to give uh, data for first name will be um, Akshay and last name will be Smith and uh, city will be London and address will be I give some text click on the save button to insert new record here we have the submitted successfully message click on ok um, to update uh, this record double click this uh, row in data grid view here we have the details of this customer actually ok uh, yeah I change this last name to Praveen and uh, city to Sydney then click on this update button here we have the message and uh, um, for last name and uh, city has changed okay here we have the text button save button text has remained as save and the delete button as um, disabled okay if you want to delete this record okay double click this row and here we have the details now delete button is enabled okay click this delete button it's asking confirmation message are you sure to delete this record uh, if you want to delete this record click s yes to delete okay here uh, form is form controls are resetted here we have the message deleted successfully and the data grid view has refreshed this is the final output of this tutorial which we will make today okay, uh, using entity framework in C Sharp Windows application. Okay, I am sure this video is helpful to you to understand entity framework DB first approach create operations in C Sharp application. So please watch till the end of this video series. How to implement entity framework insert update and delete operation in C sharp application in our previous videos we used ado.net method in this video we'll use entity framework method which is much faster and easier than ado.net method okay first we'll create new project click on here new project or else you can use shortcut shift plus uh, control plus shift plus n Here under Visual C Sharp, select Windows Desktop, then name your application F CRUD. Click on OK. Now we have created a EF CRUD application. Okay, let's expand this screen. Yeah, um, inside this form, add required controls for this application. Okay, click this toolbox. Here all windows forms under select label then text box then button and we need data grid view okay here we have added required controls to this form now we can align and arrange these controls accordingly For this form, I need four labels. So select this label and text box. Okay, um, hold control key and uh, drag the selection below. I need two more uh, label and text box. So select the four and drag it. Okay, now button like that. I need two more buttons. Now we can change properties of these controls. First, we'll start from label. Go to text here. Here, this label text will be first name. This one will be last name. City. address okay. 
now um, I will name this text box I use prefix text and then text name will be first name this um, txt shortcut I used to um, specify the text box name okay second text box name will be txt loss name txt city this one txt address make this address text box as multi line check this check box here we need uh, more than one line for address text box okay then give name for these buttons this button will be button save uh, bt and uh, prefix i used to specify button and button text will be save then second button text will be delete and then third button will be cancel okay need to change name also button cancel button delete now data grid view dgv customer now inside this application to demonstrate these cred operations we will be using details of customers like first name last name city and then address of a customer okay here we have done with uh, designing this windows form except this data grid view that we can do later then we can make some normal design modifications like background color foreground and font size etc uh, for data grid view i set background color white and then default cell style look for default cell cell style your back color back color um, I said this color and the selection back color will be this one okay then click on ok then go to row template here expand this one and the row height I said 30 okay Here I have changed some modifications from font. Here, if you want to change font and the font style and the font size, um, select the text box labels and um, in properties, select font properties. Here, you can select as you are wish. Okay, then font color will be you can choose your four color. Here, select the colors. Okay, then back color for form back color. Here we have back color property. Here you can choose whatever the colors you want for this application. Okay, these are the major design modifications made for this form. Okay, now we have to create database uh, for this application. Okay, go to SQL Server Management Studio. See here, here in local instance is a uh, dot. Okay, right click on databases here, new database your database name i will give ef db entity uh, ef means entity framework db click on ok your refresh here we have ef db okay here we have to create the table new table your first column will be customer id it's type integer and then first name it's type worker 50 and then last name worker 50 then city worker 50 and address it's worker 250 
okay i want to set this customer id as primary key for this table set primary key and i want to make this same customer id column as identity column okay go to um, column properties here expand this identity specification here is identity to set yes it will increase start with one and increment by one okay for every new record in session it will increment by one okay this increment operation done by sql server itself uh, we don't want to insert customer id now uh, save this table by pressing ctrl plus s or else you can choose your um, save icon okay table name will be customer click on okay okay now back to visual studio code now add entity framework model for this sql server table customer okay for that um, right click here click on add your new item select uh, data from left panel and then select ado.net entity uh, data model here model name will be db models click on add here select ef designer from database click on next here click on new connection here our server name will be its um, instance connection uh, for me it's dot okay here um, we have to select the database which uh, we created efdb select that one then click on ok here efdb entities um, after creating an entity model there will be a class with this name okay we have to create an object of this class to interact with sql server table okay then click on next if you have two or more uh, entity framework version we have to select one version okay here i use entity framework version 6 then click on next here we have to select database objects that we need to add inside this data entity data model okay expand this uh, dbo select customer table okay click finish here we have added ado.net entity model for the table customer um, this table looks like this this is diagrammatic representation of customer table okay now here yeah. We have DB models inside this. We have customer class. It has properties corresponding um, to these columns inside the customer table the, that we have just created. Okay. Here, apart from this customer class, here we have DB model dot context class. Okay, inside this um, we have name with DBE of DB entities. Okay, we need to create an object of this class um, in order to interact with uh, SQL Server database. Okay, here right click view code. First, we'll declare um, object of this customer class. Okay, customer. Uh, I will name this object name model equal to new customer model class. Okay, first, um, sorry, here uh, we want to change form title. Okay, form text will be EF cred operation. Here first we'll implement um cancel or reset operation inside this button click event. So double click inside this um will clear these controls inside this form. Okay. For that I will create one more function void clear. Here 
so i want to reset this uh, four text boxes so i will write like this text first name dot text equal to text last name dot text equals text city dot text equals text address dot text equals it will be empty string okay now um see here your save button text is uh, already saved um uh, we will change the text during update operation okay for that so in a reset operation so button save dot text will be save only then we need to vis uh, disable this delete button okay we will re enable this um, delete button during update and delete operation okay button delete dot enable equal false okay save this yeah we will use this customer object model to store the currently active customer details okay in reset operation uh, we'll set model dot customer id equal zero okay uh, here we have done clear our reset operation um, inside this um, reset operation we disabled this delete button so during update or delete operation we will re-enable that okay call this clear function here in button cancel click event call the same function in form load event uh, here you can directly double click this form uh, it will go to form load event or else uh, here go to events here look for load event okay double click here here call the clear function okay let me check this start the application see here uh, uh, the form displays in a default location and we have to change this and um, see here uh, uh, the gazer focus on address text box um, it should focus on first name text box so we have to change that uh, now we'll check reset operation it's working or not okay i enter some random text in this text boxes then click this cancel button okay reset operation works fine see here by default um, de delete button is disabled here okay um let's stop the execution okay here yeah. in page load event this dot active control equal text first name the cursor should focus on text first name okay now form location go to properties here yeah. start position change this to a windows center screen okay save this and start the application see here now the changes is replicated on um, cursor focus on first name text box and the form is displaying in center screen um, okay guys uh, in our next video we'll discuss about our uh, insert operation um, see you there bye